time, there's been plenty of hype surrounding Hyperloop, the high-speed mass transport idea from Tesla founder Elon Musk. So far, there's no real-world construction going on, but Dubai is keen to become one of the first cities to experiment. Bloomberg's Paul Allen has more. If the Hyperloop can be made to work, it may usher in a transport revolution. A magnetically suspended car propelled through a low friction, low pressure tube could in theory reach speeds faster than a commercial passenger jet. Hyperloop One has conducted a successful test of part of the technology in Nevada. One place eager to try it out for real is Dubai. The home of the world's tallest building and an indoor ski field always seems game for experimental building projects. So we have to admit to ourselves that we're a new mode of transportation. We're going to have to overcome those regulatory, um, I guess, requirements and restrictions. So we're going to have to do a lot of that defining. Um, in a place like this, I could see it happening as early as 2020. Earlier this month, Dubai held a competition to design its Hyperloop, won by a French transit company. Hyperloop uh, will be accessible for almost everybody that's the idea it's not going to be a very expensive system so tomorrow we'll all be able to 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 move in a very very fast way you know it's uh, so i guess that's exciting it changes everything the key question is who pays for it and how especially at a time when the budgets of gulf nations are feeling the pinch from weak oil prices Paul Allen, bloomberg